Hey guys, my name is Sean and I got a quick little relic iron farming route for you guys if you need to get relic iron, which eventually you will once you start getting legendary gear. So go over to Mars, load into the patrol mission, and uh, follow this route over to the farming location. I believe it's located in the Scablands. I believe that's the title. Yes, right there, Scablands. Okay, so head over to the Scablands and uh, essentially you're going to follow this route. So you want to check all the buildings around here. Uh, look around and make sure you can uh, check every corner to try to find chests. Essentially, chests will spawn uh, relic irons, which again are used for upgrading your legendary gear, and you're going to need those. <laughs> it's it's a it's a part of the game that you're going to have to go around and get some relic iron, along with many other uh, materials. But uh, relic iron is a part of it. So essentially, again, you're going to follow this route and check all of these buildings for relic iron. Now if you get here and there are other people here, uh, what you're going to want to do is actually try to catch up with them and follow the route alongside them since chests are specific to the zone rather than your group of friends or your fire team rather, uh, you will get in a situation where you're going to be checking these rooms and there's going to be no chests spawning. That might be because there's other people there and again the chests are specific to the zone rather than the group so other people can pick up chests and on your screen they'll disappear. Uh, so you want to make sure that if there is a pack moving around, try to stick with the pack rather than being on the other side of this loop and uh, not getting any chests. Again, you you might reach this route and not find any chests whatsoever for the first couple minutes, and that's just part of it. I mean, you, you might get unlucky. Uh, since I was recording, I obviously got unlucky. I mean, why, why wouldn't the chests stop spawning when I start recording? It's just the way it works. Uh, but you can see here, we, we do get a, a bit lucky in our first couple rooms, and after that, we start, you know, hitting some misses. Uh, but hitting some misses, what, what was that? Uh, but yeah, you just want to check all the rooms, make sure you check every corner, and uh, grab those relic irons. Now, as you run around, you might actually find a couple nodes on the ground. Now, nodes are uh, essentially these little copper-looking sprouts that come up. They glow a little bit. Uh, hold X on them, and you'll be able to grab a relic iron or two from that. Maybe even more. Sometimes when you get to the chest, too, you'll, you'll get anywhere between one relic iron to up to 12. I believe 12 is a maximum. I could be wrong there. Uh, but you'll also have a chance of getting uh, a couple enagrams. You might even get some legendary ones. You'll get uh, other stuff. So it's worth doing this, even if you're not looking for relic irons and you just want to farm a bunch of chests. Again, there are other farming locations for specific things, but I found this to be the most effective farming route for relic irons. I believe there are a couple more routes on Mars. Uh, there's one that's right next to the patrol spawn that you can do, but I find that one's kind of boring. It's short and it doesn't have as much uh, relic iron on it as this one. This one is very, very effective. Uh, I believe within one hour, uh, we had around 100 relic iron, maybe even more. Uh, so it, again, it, it's worth doing. Bring some friends too, because it's it's far more entertaining when you're with friends, or if you don't have any friends that you can go with, grab you know, a podcast to listen to, or some music or something, and, and you'll get through it. Relic irons are a part of the game. I mean, <laughs> you're going to need to get them eventually. If you're not there yet, eventually you will need to get a lot of relic iron. I believe it's like 16 per upgrade. And if there's like seven upgrades, you know, it's a lot of relic iron. And that's just per piece of armor. So uh, you're going to be doing this quite a bit. As far as, as, far as I'm aware, there aren't uh, any other routes on Mars that are as effective as this, as I said earlier. But again, I could be wrong there. If you have a route, be sure to post it below in the comments. That way you can help everybody out. And, uh, you know, if you if you have your own route that you take, let us know in the comments. But I, again, I found this one to be the most effective. Uh, but again, you just, you just want to keep checking all these rooms. Sometimes you're going to enter a room and there won't be any chests. Sometimes you'll enter five or six in a row and there won't be any chests, but that's just part of it. Uh, you just want to keep going, keep checking, and eventually you will find some goodies. You'll notice that I actually got 12 relic irons in one of the chests back there, which is pretty crazy. I mean, I got 12 plus two blue enagrams, and I, I believe a green. I'm not too sure. Uh, hopefully when you make that jump right there, you'll be a little bit better than I was. I was pretty terrible at making that one jump up. Also, there is a parkour route you can take, which is along back there, and there is a chance of a chest up there, but I've yet to see one. Uh, so you can take that route if you are feeling a little bit bored. It's, you know, it's just a fun little thing to do. Anyways, let me know uh, if this route helped you out, and be sure to subscribe for more gaming content. My name is Sean. I thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.